Have you ever pondered how our world might look if all the ice in Antarctica melted? It's a thought that has surely crossed many minds, especially with the increasing focus on climate change. Picture this, a world where the beautiful coastal cities we know and love are submerged underwater. A world where millions are displaced from their homes due to incessant flooding. This is the potential reality we are facing with the rising sea levels. The concept of sea level rise is intrinsically linked to global warming. As the Earth's temperature increases, so does the volume of our oceans, primarily due to the melting of ice caps and glaciers. The warmer water expands, and as a result, our sea levels rise. This phenomenon is not a distant threat. It's happening right now, reshaping the face of our planet. The implications are indeed far-reaching, but how fast is the sea level actually rising? To understand the pace of sea level rise, we need to dive into some data. When we look back at the historical records, we find that the global sea level has risen by roughly 8 inches since consistent record-keeping began in the late 19th century, around 1880. That's about the length of an adult hand from the base of the palm to the tip of the middle finger. It might not seem like much, but remember we're talking about the entire planet's oceans here. Now let's dig into the current rate of sea level rise. Today our oceans are rising at approximately 0.14 inches per year. To give you an idea, that's roughly the thickness of three pennies stacked together. When we compare this to the average 20th century rate of sea level rise, which was 0.06 inches per year, we see that the rate has nearly doubled. That's like comparing the thickness of a single penny to the combined thickness of two pennies. But here's the kicker. If this trend continues, and there's no reason to believe it won't, we could be looking at a sea level rise of one to four feet by the end of this century. One foot is about the length of a standard ruler, and four feet is roughly the average height of a six-year-old child. Could you imagine our world with sea levels that much higher than they are now? That's a drastic change, and it's one that could have profound effects on our planet. Coastal cities could find themselves underwater, entire island nations could disappear, and millions of people could be displaced. These aren't just hypothetical scenarios, they're very real possibilities based on the data we have today. While these numbers may not seem significant, their impact on our world is colossal. Given these statistics, what could our future look like? Let's take a moment to imagine. If our oceans continue to rise at their current rate, we're looking at a future rife with challenges. Coastal areas, home to millions, are under threat of increased flooding. Imagine Venice, but on a global scale. Not only this, but we're also faced with the prospect of intensified erosion. Our beautiful beachfronts could be washed away, altering landscapes and ecosystems alike. Now, think of bustling cities like Miami or entire countries like Bangladesh. These places, already grappling with the effects of sea level rise, could see significant changes. We're talking about displacement on a massive scale, with millions of people potentially needing to relocate. But it's not all doom and gloom. With a greater understanding of these issues, we can take action. We can adapt, innovate and find ways to live with our ever-changing world. The future may seem daunting, but through understanding and action we can navigate these rising tides. We've journeyed through the data and glimpsed possible futures, but what are the key takeaways? Let's distill it down. We've learned that the sea level is rising at an alarming rate, currently about an eighth of an inch per year. This might not sound like much, but when spread across the globe's vast oceans, it has profound implications. We've also delved into the potential future effects of this rise. Coastal cities could find themselves underwater, and millions of people may be displaced. The damage to the economy, infrastructure and biodiversity could be staggering. But most importantly, we've highlighted the urgent need for action. From reducing our carbon emissions to investing in resilient infrastructure, the choices we make today could significantly alter this trajectory. We're all in this together, and every effort counts. The sea may be rising, but so too is our ability to confront this challenge. Remember, our choices today shape the world of tomorrow. Let's make it a world we'd be proud to pass on.